All right, all right, all right, all right. Cancer, tell me what the answer is, baby. It is me, right? It is she, right? It is V, right? It is Scorpion, red right? Tarot, and I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Yes, indeed. To let you know what the love energies are surrounding you for the month of September, because it's going to be a month to remember, baby. I want to give a shout out to all my OGs, a shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, clicking this video, and showing me love. Um, I'm not going to do an extra long prayer, but you know, I got to give God his glory. Cause listen, they don't know our story. We got to acknowledge him in any and everything that we do. If we wanted to be blessed and praise hello. So, um, father God, I thank you so much for blessing the sign of cancer, waking us up today. I thank you for elevating us. Father God, please give us the enrichment and the light that we need to receive uh, so that cancer can receive the guidance that they need to help attract the most abundant and healthy love in their life and for the people in existing relationships to help them um continue to nurture and grow and um excel the current love situation that they're in father god we thank you for molding us we thank you for holding us we thank you for every single thing that you are and everything that you do in jesus name amen amen and amen all right now cancer i started to record your reading yesterday and i got distracted i got distracted okay so um <laughs> i'm about to start all over I have to tell you the title of yesterday's reading. I still might upload it. Y'all let me know. <laughs> what was the title? Hold on, because I scratched it out. But it was all she needed was a little dick. Y'all, I swear. <laughs> I said, Kesa is cutting up. All she needed was a little dick. Oh, my God. Child, I cannot take y'all. So, listen, let me take a sip of my coffee. We're going to get right up into this energy because we're going to see what the hell y'all got going on. Because y'all be cutting up. All she needed was a little dick. Hold on. While I'm here, y'all say amen. Amen. Let the church say amen. That's all I wanted. Hello. All right. Yes, sir, creme brulee. Come on. If y'all like coffee, that Starbucks creme brulee, girl, mm, mm, mm. it do something to my world. All right, so let's see what we got for cancer. Father God, give us the guidance. What we got going on in love for the month of September for my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cancers. Okay. What we got going on for cancer? Give me one card. What we got going on for cancer, please? What's going on in cancer's life and love? In love. Well, we got chemistry, I told you. <laughs> Look, ain't y'all cute? Ooh, ain't y'all cute? I really like it. And I, I, I had a very long-term relationship with a cancer years ago. We bonded in the kitchen. When this man used to come home, baby, we used to turn on some music. And for my weed smokers, we used to roll us a J. And make us a little cocktail. And honey, what I'm trying to tell you, we would tear that kitchen down. A Scorpio and a Cancer cooking. Get the... Listen, we... Uh, child, we should have started a catering business. That boy could cook his ass off. And if it was... Yeah, that turned me on so much. When that man used to go on the grill... Baby, when I'm trying to tell you our house has so much love in it, a Cancer Scorpio connection, oh my God, it has so much love and affection in that house in regards to the animals, the children, the food, the music, the vibe, everything. It had, it, it just, <laughs> I, I, it didn't work because it didn't work because we were young and people weren't ready. At that time for all that stuff that I was trying to do. But I'm going to tell you. If your love chemistry has anything to do with food. If that's y'all's love language with each other. Y'all like to cook for each other. who baby. Baby. Y'all going to be fat, plump, and happy in retirement. And in love with each other. That's that type. Listen, this this that type of love right here. Every day y'all find something different. That you love about this person. That you are learning about this person. It's like you never cease to amaze me. Like you are so beautiful. This is somebody that. 
they love you from the inside out like for real your insides is beautiful real talk internally you are oh hold on and look at his muscles look at and whoever the man is, he got a nice little physique. He got a nice body. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's find out what's going on. Get love with my cancers. Show me the answers. What's going on, cancer? Mm -hmm. Oh, and I just heard that this person, like, at random, may just send flowers to your job. Like, very romantic very romantic this person you got the hermit i feel like this person has been taking a lot of time to themselves to kind of um develop their real requirements what their wants and needs are it's like they might be sitting on the outside of a lot of other people's relationships like nah, i don't want that that shit's toxic it look nice okay so what I'm basically getting is, is this person wants the real thing. They don't want no Facebook, Instagram as goddamn relationship. They don't want something that's thriving off of lust. Like this person is eternally seeking inside. Like, where do I really see my future? What would really bring me happiness? You know, I done did the lust. I done did the internet fame. I done did like it's so superficial and flawed and fraud. I want something real. So this masculine energy here, this cancer masculine energy could be like single right now. I'm definitely getting somebody that's single because this is someone that is getting to know somebody that's dating. And you know, the number threes represent, um, huh. <laughs> intimacies. <laughs> It definitely does. Intimacies, creativity, communication, imagination, being social, artistic, you know? So, hmm. don't let me get into some part of man, see, child. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Three being fertility, baby. Y'all better watch out. What y'all got cooking in that pot? Give me one more card. And you got the king of swords. The king of swords. All right, I'm going to put it to you like this. I'm going to keep it one, honey, because you see what the hell is popping off on here. Uh, cancer is leaving somebody, okay? I don't know, um, they have, they have their ideal partner. They already have it in mind of who their ideal partner is, and they definitely could be separating from, like, a husband or a wife from their past or something, and she may be lurking and all in the cancer's business of who he's currently dating. I feel like the cancer could be dating someone that's a little bit younger than him right now. Very beautiful. I feel like she's very fun and light spirit. Like, this girl keeps this man happy. The woman in the background, though, she, I'm um, giving whoever is dating this man warning, she could create a lot of drama. And then you got the six of cups here at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah. Um, this is a mutual connection. This is six of cups right here. Six of cups. This is a mutual connection, a mutual love. Very giving and receiving. I want to say very innocent too. But there is some past, there's some past life shit going on back here. You see here. Okay? So you will, and I'm going to put it to you like this. With this chemistry and this connection, and I'm trying to tell you that this man stalled and waited out. If he wanted to be in the connection, he could have very much so be. You see his friends in the background fucking bitches and doing all this shit right in front of him. And he just seemed uninterested. Because he was focused on the inner me. I'm focused on the inner me. Because I really want to attract to myself like my reflection i'm a good man i don't i don't feel like whatever this relationship is that he had with this wife it was very toxic he needs something fresh new vibrant something innocent that doesn't have a lot of burdens on it this man is very logical this this man has got to the point in his life where I feel like he's laid, he, you see how he laid his sword down? That's in regards to her. I don't even think he want to talk to her anymore. 
I don't think there's nothing to say as long as we handle on our business in regards to our kids and whatever. I just heard, you know, that the chick don't have to worry about any type of financial securities. Like, the king of swords take care of his business. You ain't never going to catch him off guard. But he would get you in check. And whoever the female is right here, this new one, the young one, you ain't got to worry about her because he going to check that bitch. Trust me. You think he gonna allow this woman to get in the way of this shit? Yeah, right. And he waited? <laughs> he gonna check that hoe. So you don't need to worry about that. But yeah, there's somebody jealous. There's somebody gonna be watching. Somebody from the past is gonna be watching and jealous. And it's gonna be very intimidated by you. And I wouldn't give a fuck about her. Wouldn't give not one single solitary fuck about that bitch. Let her keep looking, bitch. You need to mind your business. Mind your business. That's all you got to do is mind your business, okay? Bitch, mind your business. Ooh, and then I see the twin flame card. Shit. Okay. Even though I don't like that twin flame shit, y'all already know. Okay, so again, like I told you, this this cancer man, or who, and again, take it how it resonates. I'm just getting it as a masculine energy. You know, if it's a female cancer, you bossing up on your G shit. You're like, man, listen. Go the fuck on. Cause you acting like a bitch right now. You acting like a fucking bitch. Okay? Is you the female or am I the female? You acting like a fucking bitch. Okay? Fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm so serious. Like, cancer, they're focused on their self-worth. I told you with that hermit card. They could have been, they could have been out here in the streets. They've been hanging out with their friends. Their friends be out here <laughs> wilding. He's the more humble, reserved one. You know, he do what he want to do when he want to do it. He just he ain't, he not, he not interested in all that. He wants something that's going to last. He wants something that he could create memories with. Memories with. Okay? It's something about the time that they spend at home. This person is going to enjoy a lot of home time with you. I can see y'all doing gardening. Um... Even just sitting, out, why am I seeing in the summertime out with the kids, like, he got the grill uh, popping, the kids and the dog running around out in the yard. Um, why am I seeing, like, a slip and slide? I'm old, so y'all know I'm an 80s baby. Y'all remember slip and slide? It's like, it's like, it's like, uh, he done set the slip and slide out. Everybody got their baby suits on, the kids running around, getting wet, shoot water guns. He's sitting, like, literally, the female... And this cancer man, her kids and his kids and the kids love each other. Let's get into that. That's why I'm trying to tell you, baby, this chemistry, you're not fucking with it. When the kids love each other, okay? How about your kids be setting play dates with each other? They ain't got shit to do with y'all and y'all trying to catch up with them. Because next thing you know, they'll be like, oh, mom, aren't we going over so-and-so's house this weekend? And you're like, well, I was just over there last weekend. I mean, I was going to spend this weekend in the house with you guys or whatever. Oh, no, we talked to Brittany and um, I thought we were going over there. So now the kids think that they're supposed to be going over to your man house every weekend to go play with their friends. You see what I'm saying? Because they're bonding like sisters and brothers. It's becoming a blended family. Listen, I love this. I fucking love this. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. I heard, look, when I split it, it said, why get even when you could get ghosts? Are y'all looking at this? Why get even when you can lay your sword down? Didn't I tell you he was laying his sword down? He don't even... He don't talk to this woman about nothing unless it's involving the kids or business. Because all you're going to do is start argument, bring up shit from the past. Y'all seen that Secret Cup, right? Because now she see him with her. It's like, oh, you remember when we... No. Bitch, where the kids at? <laughs> where the kids... Is the kids... Is the, do the kids want something? Okay. You have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Like, I, what? What? Not a bitch want to be nice. Why get even? Don't call. And I'm forgetting that the memories was down here too. Because I don't even need that six of cup calls. Because the memories, right? Why are you calling me, talking to me about old shit? Oh, remember when we took we took the kids to um 
Disney World and so and so fell off the blah 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 bitch like listen I, 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 I'm at work did you need something no oh okay I'll call you back tell the kids to call me like get, get off my phone get off my phone it's like if you wanted to work things out with this cancer man when he was sitting here in his piece of solitude and her mamo bitch you could have did it but you was out in the street being a city girl as in your grown ass age at that okay mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Rocket even when you can get ghosts. She would love for cancer to pick up that sword just to even give her the audience for her to ask questions. Yeah, well, who was that girl? Bitch, shut up. Mind your business. Ho, mind your business. Okay? The fuck? Mind your business. Bitch, mind your and whoever this female is could be an air sign it could be a Gemini Aquarius Libra <laughs> bitch mind your business you need, to, you need to go cleanse yourself or focus on your self work how about that okay cause kids don't know what the hell listen they know what the best is for them and it's not that they definitely separated from a wife or something like that cancer got better shit to do let me sit up here talking about old shit. Because I don't give a damn. What's, okay, what's the... <gasps> they want to marry you! Ooh! 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 Hold on, by y'all. Ooh! Uh. Ah! I love it! I love it! I love it! Cancer! Cancer, can I get a wedding invite? Please, like, seriously. My inbox is scorpionrays at gmail.com. Can y'all please email me? Y'all email me, tell me what's going on. I'm so excited for y'all. Oh my God. And then we got the three of cups celebration, happiness, joy. Yes. Ah! Oh, look, I'm getting invited. I'm invited. I'm part of the team. Ooh! <laughs> I'm so excited for y'all. I'm so excited. I am so. Oh, hold on. Why the four of wands in the verse? What are you trying to tell me? I ain't invited. Man, look, hold on. Why y'all even let me get excited like that then? Shit. They're like, Red, you don't even live right. So I'll catch a train. The fuck? Tell me I ain't invited. Shit, I'm trying to motherfucking tell you. Oh, I'm trying to tell you. Hold on. Cheers to the freaking weekend. I drink to that. Yeah, yeah. That is you and your kids and everything. Like, y'all be turning up on the weekends. Y'all be turning up on the weekends. Like, it's this whole new blended family vibe. That I think everyone is thoroughly enjoying. Um, this is a family man. So he may be making plans for things. Because you know a lot of times it's hard to date. Because it's like you got the responsibility of your kids. But when you got a man that love his kids more than anything. And he's like the same way you feel about your kids. It's the same way I feel about mine. I have my kids all the time. So we're going to date. And hold on. Why y'all got the world in the eight of wands? Y'all better get the fuck on out of here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We wrapping this up. We're done. We're done. But it, but it, that's all, folks. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's, 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 that's it. Y'all motherfuckers done did me. Cancer. Shout out to everybody watching this video because this is the fuck how you do it do not be in no rush to get your ass out there in the streets you handle your business you handle your inner work okay when you come up from a toxic ass situation like this you handle your inner work you focus on your self work and you get yourself together you get your weather together so when you go out there baby it ain't nothing but sunshine and parades okay and you threw down that, S that ace of space like bitch Done, diddy, done, 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 done. We got a new life coming on here. We got all newness, all new everything, all new everything, all new everything. You successfully closed that chapter <laughs> with a flawless motherfucking victory. The only thing these bitches can do is sit back and watch you be in your glory because them hoes don't know your story. They ain't seen how much you prayed. Cause it's the God in me. Hey! While everybody else was twisting and turning up, you was focusing on yourself. 
You was getting yourself prepared. You was putting that energy and your attentions out there. And God answered it quickly. Quickly. You got the eight of wands. Everybody talking about you, baby. Oh, because this one, this one. Oh, she fine as a motherfucker, too. As a motherfucker. Oh, I cannot take y'all. I cannot take y'all. I cannot. I'm done. I love y'all. Bye. Can y'all please hit the like button? Can y'all please show me some love down in the chat? Even if you're not a cancer, if you're watching this video, baby, this is for you. This is for you. This is for you. Okay? Y'all go down in the chat. This is for me. This is I claim, I claim, I claim. Okay? Stop playing with cancer. Tell me the answers. Hello, you have spoken. It is written and so it shall be. We about it, this bitch. Y'all hit the like button. I'll see y'all next video. Peace.